Hello, my friends. Welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, June 18th, 2024. This is Jennifer. We're pointed a slightly different direction today because I've been updating my room. Last week, I told you guys that I was thinking about upgrading my embroidery machine and I did it. Um, it's something I've been thinking about for a long time for my TTMT friends that I went to Houston uh, International Quilt Festival with in 2022. I was looking at embroidery machines the whole time I was there. After a great deal of thought and a lot of lists and a lot of pros and cons, I finally picked a machine, which I'm gonna show you guys after I do a little tour of how I rearranged. One of the biggest things I did was I flipped the serger side of my room with the embroidery side. This used to have my embroidery machine on it and all of my embroidery supplies were in this little uh, cabinet right here. Now this is serger supplies and then some extra just like room supplies. I also did some rearranging on the wall. The major change there was this is my thread rack. This is where I keep all of my sewing thread. So I keep my sewing, serger, embroidery, and quilting thread separate just because it's easier for me to find it that way. And this is everything I piece with or I sew bags with or clothes with or whatever. So every that's all underneath here. Give you a little sneak peek of that. I use a curtain on these to keep the dust, the cat hair off, and to just protect them from the light. There's also, I have like a little strip of fabric that goes all the way around the top and down the sides that, that helps with that as well. See, I rearranged some of these things. They used to be over my sewing machine. And because I moved this, I, ha I shifted some things to the left and some things to the right. The other thing that I did during the week is what I think of as infrastructure. It's just basic organization that makes the room work better for me. I have my own way of doing things and I have my own way of organizing. And I want it to make as much sense to me as possible. I really love to be able to put my hands on things almost immediately. I made labels on my Cricut for all of my sewing machine boxes. I have a little box this size or like a school box size for all of my machines. I labeled my machine boxes. I made a couple of fabric baskets or things that didn't really have a home. This is the same basket I've made before. I just used a slightly bigger square. I also made some new labels for some of my fabric bins. These are um, the bins that go inside of my cabinets and I made uh, machine embroidered labels for these. I have them for most of the, the bins that I use, but I've changed some of them over the years. And when I changed them, I just took the old ones off. These are just safety pinned on and I had masking tapes left on there. So I really wanted to do that. I had a bunch that needed new labels, so I made them all at one time. This one is a uh, serger thread and I color coded them so I know which color thread is inside. I keep my thread in bags, but I leave them open so they can breathe. And these are kept by color. So whenever I have a project that requires my serger, all the thread is already together and it's easy for me just to grab and go. You guys may remember that I did make sewing machine covers fairly recently for all of my machines. I wasn't anticipating upgrading my, my embroidery machine as soon as I did. But the upside is that Jules has the same exact embroidery machine that I have. So I'm going to send her my embroidery machine cover for her sewing room. I had given her the plastic cover that it came with, just like a dust cover to, you know, keep off the dust and the cat hair and whatever. And so, um, this bubble up fabric, I did buy extra because I figured I would upgrade eventually. So I, that's on my agenda is to make a new embroidery machine cover. And I suppose now that I've talked about that a little bit, I should show you the actual embroidery machine. Here we are on the other side of the room with my brand new embroidery machine. This is a brother single needle free arm embroidery machine. So it's basically turned sideways to how a regular home machine is oriented. It has a larger hoop. Let me show you. It goes up to an eight by 12 hoop. And because there's this space here, I can do things like sleeves and jeans legs and bags and other things that are really difficult to hoop on a flatbed machine. That was really what took me so long to decide. Um, this is a higher end machine. It's more expensive. And I really wanted to be sure before I invested the money. I will tell you guys that um, if you're thinking about getting a more expensive machine, go to a local dealer because I did not pay for this, the price that I was seeing online. I was actually quite nervous. I wasn't sure if I was going to buy it or not. And I went to a local dealer 
I told him what I was seeing online. I told him what I was thinking about and he made me a fantastic deal. That was very pleasing to have. And I'm very, very hopeful that I will have this for another 10 years. I, I mean, that's really what I want out of it. I want is, I mean, I'd love to have it for the rest of my life, but I, I am married to technology. My husband's a software engineer and I know things just don't, they're not supported for that long. So I will use this as long as humanly possible. And I'm really looking forward to using it in my quilt projects. I've already stitched out some, uh, book titles, I've done some practice stitching, I've stitched on some jeans, and I'm gonna have all kinds of fun stuff to show you guys. The label I showed you guys for the bin that has my serger thread in it, I stitched that out on here. I was able to do a whole bunch of bins at one time because the, the hoop is so wide. It's much easier for me to see this screen. I was really struggling with that tiny, tiny little black and white screen. This is a full color screen and it's bigger so I can really see it better. And something this does that I kind of knew that it did, but I didn't really understand the impact it would have is it cuts almost all of the jump threads, which if you have an embroidery machine, amazing. That's so much less work when you're done to cut off all those little threads. I like to design a lot of my own stuff, but there are also a lot of other really fun things online out there that are fun to incorporate into just everyday projects. While I was cleaning my room, I put all of my batiks that I had pulled for the Star Trek quilt top back into my fabric dresser. I primarily keep uh, fat quarters and half yard cuts and that's, I have a, I have a fabric, I'm pointing over here cause it's right there. Um, I have a fabric dresser for that. And I got all of my fabric back in except for the blues. So I have way too many blues for my fabric dresser. And my plan is to use maybe not this fabric necessarily, but blue fabric from my stash. And I have a whole set of Sashiko machine embroidered designs that I haven't tried yet. And I'm thinking I'm gonna stitch all of them out and make them into a charity quilt top. Since I've already donated all the charity quilt tops I have, I thought that would be a really fun way to start making tops again. So my friends, that is gonna be it for me. If you have any questions about how I organize my sewing room, I would love to show you more. I could talk about it forever because it's one of my favorite things to do. If uh, if you want me to share any of, any of my little tips or tricks or whatever, just let me know and I'll be happy to share. I do have a tutorial in the back of my mind that I'll be uh, posting to YouTube pretty soon. It's not a Raggedy Rescue, but it's a uh, little hack that I do for making the front pockets on my jeans longer. Um, I like a deep pocket and a lot of jeans that fit me don't have a nice pocket. I think that's gonna be it for me. You guys have a wonderful week, have a crafty week. Make sure to share your videos. Let me know if you're working on the Talk To Me Tuesday block of the month. New block coming up on July 1st and I will see you guys next week. Bye. The other thing I did during the week was some, what I,